So hello and welcome to the computer lab. So one of my subscribers has recently just asked a question on one of my old videos and the video was this transparent shape. So how to cut out a transparent shape within an image. And the question was, how do I do the opposite from what I had explained on this tutorial? So basically, instead of cutting a transparent shape out, how do I cut out a shape and leave the, all the rest of it transparent? So that is what I'm going to show you in this video. I'm going to show you two different ways how to use a mask and a clipping mask uh, to cut out a shape, but with a image inside it. So let's get an image open. I've already got this image open. It is 1920 by 1080. So obviously when I cut something out of this image, it's not going to be that clear. So just bear that in mind if you are doing that with your image. So the first thing I'm going to do is open the image. I'm just going to unlock it as well. So if yours is locked, I always suggest unlocking it when you're doing stuff like this. So it doesn't throw us off a bit later on. So we've got the pixel layer unlocked. Now I'm just going to pick up on a ellipse tool. That's the tool I'm going to use. I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard to constrain my ellipse and then let go like so. And then I'm just going to move it into position. And a handy little tip here is when you're moving it into position is to just turn the opacity down if you wanted to get it right first time. So maybe I want to just tweak that a little bit uh, just to get that single tree in and then turn my opacity back up. You can move it around later on, uh, but it is a nice little tip just to uh, get us started. OK, so now I've got the ellipse and the background. So I've got the two different parts of my equation it would be. And the next part is to left click on the ellipse and then drag it down onto my image. And all I'm doing here is creating this mask on the image. Now there's a couple of different places to drag this. If I left click and drag and hover it under the um, hover it under the text, you can see it won't do anything. But if I hover to the right of the thumbnail, and if I just leave it hovered over there and zoom in the screen in so you can see what I'm talking about, that is the actual box that we are looking for when you're dragging the ellipse down onto the side of the thumbnail of the image that you want to cut. So if I let go, that will then create this mask on my image which is great and then again if i left click whilst the ellipse is selected and left click and drag i can move this around the screen and pick off a different thing if i wanted to do and all i'm doing there is moving the ellipse around on over the top of my image if you have the whole image selected it will then move the whole of the image and the actual ellipse as well so that's one way to do the um, to create a mask from a image in any shape that you want. And another handy tip here is if you are trying to undo or trying to remove the ellipse or the shape that you are working with from this background, if you try and left click anywhere where it is blue, it won't let you do anything. And you can be wondering what has happened. It's not locked and why is it doing this? If you simply where the thumbnail is, left click on there, it will select the ellipse and left click, drag it out and then drop it back to where it was before. That will then undo the work that we've just done. So I'm going to leave the ellipse in position. My photo is still central, so that's great. So next thing is let's do a clipping layer. So I'm going to pick my background layer up. And earlier, if you remember, I picked on the ellipse and dragged that down. So now we're going to go pick the background layer up. I'm going to left click and I'm going to drag it up, but I'm going to offer it to the underside of the text of this ellipse or the shape that you are using. So if you go to the side of the thumbnail like we did earlier, you'll notice it doesn't do what we want it to do. I need to go to just under the text like so. Let go, let go even, not let go. And we then get this clipping layer. So this is just another way of doing it and another way to manipulate the images it would be. Again, if I have this background layer selected and then left click on my image, I can move the actual background layer or my picture around. I can zoom in and do whatever I want to do to manipulate that. Or I could pick the actual ellipse up, which then drags the image and the ellipse around on the screen. So two ways to do it. Uh, and two ways to manipulate your image and ellipse and both will have their uses depending on what you are doing. And the last thing that we need to do if we are going to export this as a transparent, so all this is removed, is to export it as a PNG. So again, we need to make sure that we have the shape selected here. Up to File, down to Export. Make sure it is on PNG, so not a JPEG, you want PNG. And the critical thing here is you don't want to do the whole document. 
And like I said at the start, this is 1920 wide by 1200 down, as you can see in the box there. And because I have the ellipse selected, so the area that I want to export is selection only, because that is my selection, the ellipse. And as soon as I've done selection only, you can see the size has changed to 168 by 168. So 168 um, hide, uh, high and wide, basically. I'm going to click on export. I'm just going to save it into the file that I've got ready to go here. And I'm just going to call it uh, layer one. If I can spell right, layer one like so. It's going to be as a PNG, click save. And then just to prove that has worked, I'm just going to go into my file, which is here. So that's the layer one that I have just saved. And you can see it's this circular shape, this ellipse shape. I'm going to open a new window here just quickly. So file new, doesn't matter what it is, do that. And then let's drag this layer. In fact, let's just fill this up with a blue color like so. And I'm going to drag my layer in that we've just created, drop it in. It won't be very good resolution because of the size um, I was talking about earlier, but we might want to use that uh, somewhere in there as a transparent layer like so. But that's it. That's how to cut out a shape in Affinity Photo with your image behind or cut out a shape of a photograph in Affinity Photo. So I hope this video was helpful. I know it was a, one of my shorter tutorials, uh, but all the same, if this video has helped, please do give us the thumbs up. Hit me up with any comments below. They are always appreciated. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to be alerted to new, any new videos I make. And thanks again for watching the Computer Lab on YouTube.